Well, now, welcome back. This is the Good Morning Niger show. I forget to cover my son. Got cold day inside the studio. Seriously. <laughs> Well, thank you. Good afternoon. I take join us. I hope so now. Enjoy our newspaper headline review with Chukudi Ezugu this morning. I would like to drop the facts behind the facts um, as EB. And may I try and miss that segment? Get something we'll be saying they look uh, when it is. I don't like to miss Oga Chukudi segments because they like to give us some juice. We'll be saying we self no, no. I tell you, a historian. He likes to they go back, then come forward, explain certain facts, give you. But we don't enter 2021 when they hear say lockdown day, lockdown no day. Uh, senior staff can't work, school no go open, some states say school go open. But we not say for the year 2020. Uh, Jolitainment centers around the country and then suffer pass, yes? Places like restaurants, like hotels, nightclubs. On I see now, 30 December, not great happen. And even to even cross over, say, he had, uh, you know, this uh, period as he be. So as we do here, we get Dr. Omokpeju Afanu, when we say that the CEO, uh, Cooper House Hospitality Limited, an Honorable Secretary, Institute of Hospitality, UK Nigeria International Branch, and uh, she day inside the um, studio with us this morning. I want to talk about the state of hospitality for Nigeria, especially inside this COVID-19 matter, especially as also government also the talk say, bless a second wave don't enter. Which way for people when they this business? Doctor, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. How we go describe Nigeria hospitality sector? Maybe we talk first before COVID-19, and then okay. as COVID-19 take enter, maybe we start from there. Okay, so do I have to speak in English? No, go, I agree you, I agree you. <laughs> okay, so, well, um, the hospitality sector was mm -hmm. doing extremely well in 2019. It was actually expected to grow a lot more mm -hmm. globally okay. in 2020. But um, with the COVID-19, we all know what happened. Mm -hmm. All airlines were short. Meetings, conferences, everything went online. And um, the hospitality industry thrives on mice, thrives on in those um, in events, thrives on conferences, mm -hmm. thrives on people having to leave their home state to come to other states or for business, for pleasure and all of that. And um, with lockdown everywhere in the world, that kind of like just shut everything down. Okay. And um, as things started improving, when we, the cases started going down, mm -hmm. everything started trying to come back to normal. But unfortunately, the second wave has come, and now the industry is suffering all over again. So the losses that people had incurred in the past um, nine months, they're about, they're just trying to recover it, and then now we're going back on another lockdown. Yeah. As you all know, event centers have been shut down, yes. nightclubs have shut down again. So far, they haven't shut down hotels. Mm -hmm. We're hoping that it would not get to that. But the truth is, if the situation doesn't improve, within the next um, couple of months or weeks, there might be another lockdown globally. Yes. And once airlines are short, we know what happens. Hotels are short again. Well, maybe even look how hotels when they cope that period when this thing takes start. Because I know, say, most hotels may not be taking new customers that period as mm -hmm. well. Uh, for people when they say they don't feel help them, they need to take people in. Because people still be in the travel, they yes. enter Nigeria that period. Yes. Um, how they been they cope? They be making compulsory for them to run tests yeah. For people where they enter, I mean, like people where they enter, and they go carry their own certificates, present to the hotel. How, how they take run now? So what happened was during when the lockdowns start easing and hospitality industries start coming, hotels start opening up. Um, there were a lot of protocols that you had to go through. Mm -hmm. You had to go register for Lagos State. I don't know of other states, but for Lagos State in particular, you had to go register with the Lagos um, Safety Commission. There's a um, there was this. Uh, what they call a platform set up for that. Mm -hmm. So once you register, then they will certify you that you're good to, to reopen, go. you mm -hmm. know, so based on the up, uh, maintaining the COVID-19 protocol, which is ensuring that um, guests are masked, finding out where they're coming from, looking at all the necessary documentation to ensure that whoever is coming into your facility is um, um, certified, either has a medical certificate of... Um, negative um, result or something before you take that person. And then if the person also comes in, you also observe and take all necessary precautions, especially for your staff that will be exposed to, you know, somebody stays in your room. We all know that it spreads by touch yes. and so many other ways that the And the virus. cost of, so if the person can't even come out, so come begin spray that room, room. they try to put it, and it clean. Was, it was, yes. it was, it ah. was a lot. It, it is, it's not even it was, it's still a lot because yes. So at some point earlier when the, um, before we started getting full information, even um, in the 
you care as well because there have been a lot of seminars, a lot of, um, um, what would I call it, seminars, conferences, different avenues, just mm -hmm. to ed ed enlighten people, people master classes on how to handle mm -hmm. the situation. And you find out that at some point, of, say, if you check in a guest into a room, you don't sell that room for about two days okay. to allow, you know, whatever, whatever it contamination is. Yes, happen. because in case you clean and you don't clean properly, you need to use more cleaning chemicals, mm -hmm. you need to use more PPE for your staff, you need to make sure all surfaces are sanitized. Now, everybody's thinking of how to take the, um, the whole space into a digital space where you have minimal touch, you know, the, there's something like your phone, you can use your phone to like contactless, you yeah. know, to control your TV, to control your um, lights, to control so many things. The menu is no more in paper. You know, people had to start adopting different so ways. So it's like just wipe, and then go wipe yeah. on your inside. Yeah, so you don't even have to okay. wipe as well. You know, some okay. people use, put remote controls inside cellophane, so mm -hmm. after every guest yes, comes you out. Yeah, you just change the cellophane you, you know, so, Except that. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying, you won't use the control, your curtains and all that. You will need your touch to follow. Yeah. But be that severe, it's just to minimize, the, you know, human-to-human -human contact. Level of exposure. Okay. But when we look now as this second wave one set yes. right now, um, oh. nothing don't really change. Yeah. In the sense of, say, the only difference we say, people go add hair, yeah. people go feel follow those rules as yeah. it be. But uh, what will be the outlook for the hospitality sector um, as we <laughs> enter this second uh, phase now? How do they look up? It's not, it's not looking good. Mm. It's not looking good because if, the, if it doesn't go down, if, there's not, if, the, is the, if the curve doesn't go down, then there's a problem. Okay. Because... And I don't think the industry can survive it because it's already bad enough. Yes. A lot of hotels had to shut down because mm -hmm. you have to have a certain level, minimum occupancy to yes. be able to maintain your, to get to break even, you can pay your bills and all of that. You can't carry... Because when people did their house, nobody going to do conference again. Uh, nobody, nobody, don't nobody, first hold down don't to go start down. with. Now don't, don't well, disappear. one good thing will happen, we okay. say, um, the... Domestic tourism mm -hmm. improve okay. because as people no fee travel, mm -hmm. you know people people can't travel. They know they to travel distress. When you look at quarantine, when you get there two weeks, yes. how many? How long do you have? You have just a week or something for vacation. So it can't be wee wee. So we can't. They do wee wee. People yes. like Obudu. They say full for wow. December. Wow. So many domestic tourist sites. They Kondi. say they're full well, well, because people don't get opportunity. Mm -hmm. Where before they go, don't go London, go America, go here, go well, there. If you look at, we get the number. We yes. get the population if it drives businesses for these hotels. Yes. Yes. Uh, so as this, as it can't be saying that we, we matter. Hotels can't reduce their money. I've been at the same high rates, now they still apply. Mm, some people reduce, but some people, because of the cost, we don't go up. Mm -hmm. Some people also increase more. Mm. Because when you look at, if you know, for instance, now where As you sell... As increase, people see they go. People, they go because they don't get where they, they go. Most events now, now hotel, then they do away. Well. Event center don't close, you know. So most people now go to hotels mm. for events. People need, you know, even if you're not going long distance or you, you have to come in, you're not staying long. There's still meetings and conferences that happen within that short space of reopening the economy. But even trying to increase the rate because the economic outlook generally is very bad. Yes. You know, it also affects people's spending power. Yes. But the truth is, people actually, because there's no other avenue for them to channel their energy, channel their resources, they would not mind paying a little extra to give themselves that level of So let me of say, hope, hope for this small yeah. for hotels, if government can't give outright shutdown, you know, and restriction in movement, mm. as we take C at the peak mm. of the COVID-19 uh, palaver, um, as it be. But really, from your own observation, we understand, I mean, government, don't they talk to them, go crack down on people when we say, uh, then they pay to collect certificates, and they forge COVID-19 certificates. certificates. And we know, say, hotels plenty for Nigeria. Not yeah. every hotel you go see from top of uh, internet. Yes. So now, when you don't travel, rich where you don't reach, you go, no, so, okay, so I feel pull my head. Now, where, now they're the problem, so ah, they, because nah, standards not even there for Nigeria, so, you know? So, you know, I, I know the government, they shine eye well on top task force when they enter, like, clubs, they enter, like, churches and, you know, religious houses. Then get people who say they also they observe these hotels. As it be from your own observation, it is a hotels they really they adhere. I mean, everybody said don't relax. No hotels they adhere to because if they say they know they are there, you go down here say ah this hotel their uh, staff don't catch up because once one person don't catch up, it goes spread. And even Lagos State, where I know, then they sell that they do things way like LSTF now during this um, 
pandemic, they partner with USADF where they do um, health um, um, for, um, they do grants for um, COVID-19, you know, and we also are one of the um, trainers for that on housekeeping, general housekeeping and food safety, because that's another area where people know they look. Mm. Because in a, for hotel now, you know, they do buffet. Yes. And when they do buffet like that, different people they touch, the spoon. touch the spoon. Different and they people talk on top of himself. And you don't know who don't touch them, mm. if the person gets them or not. So this training, they're very necessary so that people begin to understand, say, no, we just buy sleeping for a room or by touching or talking to somebody mm. even for this buffet service itself you need to stop you em. need to stop them yes you need make to know that they set set, maybe there's nobody touch anything mm. the plate everybody don't put your plates for your for your front with your spoon and cutlery it's there your front so you don't need go business go that general um service area where you go they carry plates for the plate warmer no need for plate warmer for this situation mm. where we did because the, the 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 whole situation does not allow it anymore so you have to be more careful and the state is trying because they're looking at ways to help the industry as well looking at hygiene protocol you know and there's there's something that's called clinical um, cleanliness okay. because that's the key thing now you have to clean like you're cleaning a hospital hmm. because you're disinfecting and sanitizing and I think it's tough time because uh, if you look at this is what you're supposed to buy now money ah um, huh. your normal customers you are you they get like less than 50 percent yes of you know um People guests who say like the day hotel so and you still get bills to pay on top of the matter then you go see come begin they buy these things as well in fact you know to take clean so in a really very so they couldn't ask yourself say profits day Ah, my sister, what do we go do? Mm. And government self, they try. Then some people sell, then get this um, palliative as well. Yes. I know, say, some people say they don't, their staff, they collect. Because I know one time they say government do like um, palliative for people where they certain industry, where if they go, they pay their workers' salary. I know, say, some people don't, they collect. But I don't know how many people don't collect. But at least I know the person where they operate for the hospital industry, we saying staff. They don't collect palliative. Yes. Talking about staff, so, we not say, um, of course, if you know they get uh, less than fifty percent of guests where they come, we need to lay off. We need to lay off, you know, staff and yeah. all that. So you feel say this year we go see them bring some of those staff back, or may they prepare for more, you know, um, uh, cutting down of um, workforce. Well, I think the determinant factor will be more of um, what happens globally, hmm. and um, if there's no further lockdown. If the situation improves, definitely there will be need to increase your staff strength. You know, like one of the properties that we manage as well, we've gotten to a point that we're actually thinking of we, we scale down. Yes. We're actually looking at how to start to increase the staff strength because um, during this December period, a lot of people came in and it seemed like the situation talking is talking about that people came in. They hear say, of course, have. UK people they avoid. They prevent people from UK to enter country. Nigeria uh -huh. they decide should we should you? my mama go talk say can you lock your mother outside <laughs> <laughs> on top uh, whether we allow no, you to enter just or not. Back people. And they tell you so. This thing that we say with this, uh, I just got back. You know UK or, or don't they come back? How we won't do them? You know how hotels? Because hmm. now if you close your door to yes. you know I just got yeah. back. The the main thing is to observe all necessary protocol mm -hmm. and. Um, like sometimes you don't even do housekeeping as frequently as you know going in all the time. You limit exposure mm -hmm. of staff and you make sure that they wear proper protective um, um, equipment yeah. to go into the rooms. And you also ensure that there's a, every area they can sanitize, they can wash their hands, and you're explaining to them the importance of this and also finding out where your guests are coming from. Yes. You know, it's very essential. So you know that, oh, this is a UK traveler or this How is a domestic. Lie? But people lie about it. They there's lie. there's really not they much lie. you can do, but you just have to do your best. I know that if you're you're not found wanting, so if anything happens and they ask you about it and say, Oh, what you happen, you'll be able to say, ah no, now so 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 and so. I want you also do. think how expensive it is to do tests, you know? First of all, I wish that this COVID-19 thing be like easy malaria test. You understand what we say? My as sister, you then enter, they pay for the test. They now they, they tell you now. now. Then go still pay, they no go go do them. That's the main problem. It's one thing for you to be expensive. Mm -hmm. It's one thing for you to pay for it. It's another thing for you to go and do the test. They know when they put anything inside their nose. Uh -huh. Then go say, then go, they, some people that came in from the UK, they will say, oh, before they left, they, they will tell them to insist that you make sure you pay for yes. the test. By the time you get to them, because you're supposed to do another test in Nigeria, yeah. they don't do it. 
You know, initially when the thing start, then they so collect they, people passports. Yeah, so they talk. Say, imagine say it been very affordable, right? Mm. Obviously, no go be burdened for hotels. Mm. Just imagine say before any guests, no matter the money you go from, before you go fee enter, they the go test. see somebody uh -huh. and test you for that. That would have been perfect. And they tell you. And they think ourselves as they come and say, yeah, if a good person if they do test to oh, as they, you. they come, if not like um, the first test. Now they test. The I didn't say be like that kind of malaria matter. Yeah, when you just put blood, blood or test something. Test and go no say matter enter no enter. enter. Oh, that one nine for good yes. pass. And you know the the whole economy. It's difficult to actually ask for so many things. A lot of people don't they worry about vaccine or no vaccine. Or people will want travel now. We never even know the rule. We go come now. Then go say compulsory. You must take vaccine mm -hmm. or you feel enter as you they enter before. Yes. Or may you take such. You know nobody know what thing they happen. But with the vaccine, with the pray say at least they go open the industry. Yes. And once they open the industry. It makes um, life easy easier for, for people. Everybody. All right. We will say as that one will take place. And Dr. Omokbeju Afanu, I don't talk to since. She be the CEO, Cooper House Hospitality Limited, and Honorable Secretary Institute of Hospitality, UK Nigeria International Branch. I think you um, good morning, Nigeria show.